good morning students present topic is interpolation particularly interpolation with equal intervals first we will see what is meant by interpolation suppose we have the following values of y equal to f of x for a set of values of x x values x0 x1 x2 x3 and so on x1 which are equally spaced and corresponding y values y0 y1 y2 y3 and so on yn then the process of finding the values of y corresponding to any value of x equal to xi between x0 and xn is called interpolation this interpolation is the technique of estimating the values of a function for any intermediate values of the independent variable the study of interpolation is based on the concept of differences of a function which is discussed below interpolation with equal intervals suppose that the function y equal to f of x is tabulated for the equally spaced x values corresponding x values equally spaced x values and the corresponding y values to determine the value of f of x or f dash of x for some intermediate values of x the following types of differences are useful even not only for f of x for dif differentiation derivatives also following types of different differences are useful first one forward differences the difference y1 minus y0 y2 minus y1 y3 minus y2 yn minus yn minus 1 when denoted by delta y0 delta y1 delta y2 and so on delta yn minus 1 respectively are called the first order forward differences where delta is the forward difference operator similarly in general the first order forward differences are defined by delta yr is equal to yr plus 1 minus yr similarly you can define second order third order and fourth order the general formula for those are delta square yr is equal to delta yr plus 1 minus delta yr and delta q yr is equal to delta square yr plus 1 minus delta square yr delta power 4 yr is equal to delta q yr plus 1 minus delta q yr means second order differences will come from first order differences third order differences will come from second order differences and fourth order differences will come from third order differences these differences are systematically represented in the following table which is called as forward difference table this I am showing in a tabular form. Let the given data be this data and then the forward difference table, how it will be means like this will be there. X column, Y column, first order differences, second order differences, third order differences, fourth order differences. It will go continuously. Depends on how many number of values of X and Y are there. In the above difference table, X is called argument and Y is the function of the entire entry. Okay, next. First entry is called the leading term and delta y naught, delta square y naught, delta q y naught are called the forward differences. Next, similarly backward differences, the difference is same, notation will be different, that's all. Differented by del nebula, okay, in the same format backward differences and the table for backward differences, the denotion is different. Everything difference is also same, but the denotion is different. Then Newton's forward interpolation formula by using forward differences. Let the function y is equal to f of x takes the values y0, y1, y2 and so on yn corresponding to the values of x0, x1, x2 and so on xn of x. Then to evaluate y is equal to f of x at any point of x which is nearer to the beginning values of x, then the formula is given below. When we have to find out the value of y at an x value which is beginning to the given x values then you have to use newton's forward interpolation formula and the formula is this one where p is equal to x minus x naught by h and h is xn minus xn minus one difference between any two successive values of x this formula is newton's forward interpolation formula similarly newton's backward interpolation formula when we will go for this newton's backward interpolation formula means whenever you have to find out y at x value where x is at the near to the ending values of x last values of x the formula is this one simply difference is p p plus one instead of minus plus and forward differences here backward differences but here p is x minus xn by h and h is same this is called newton's backward interpolation formula now we will see problems 
fit the cubic polynomial which takes the following values and hence evaluate f of 4. Here it is asked to fit a cubic polynomial and it is asked to find f of 4. Even though that f of 4 is nearer to the ending values, it is asked to fit the polynomial first. We will follow the forward formula only. We know that the Newton's forward interpolation formula. Suppose the same problem, if it is asked to evaluate f of 4 directly, then we can use Newton's backward interpolation formula. We know that the Newton's forward interpolation formula and what is p and what is h we listed here. Then we need delta square y, delta y naught, delta square y naught, delta q y naught and so on. And that we will see with the table. Forward differences table, x column, x values denoted with x naught, x1, x2, x3 and y column corresponding y values denoted with y naught, y1, y2, y3 and the first order differences delta y. Simple down value minus upper value, delta y naught, 2 minus 1 is 1, then delta y1, y2 minus y1, delta y2, y3 minus y2, simple down minus upper value. Then second order, second order differences will be calculated from first order differences, down minus upper value. Similarly, down minus upper value. Next, third order differences, down minus upper value, 10 minus half minus 2 will become 12. Now, for first forward differences, we need these values only. We don't want any other values. We we'll list out that values. From the above table, we have y naught, delta y naught, delta square y naught, delta q y naught and p equal to x minus x naught by h for polynomial x equal to x only if we want to find any particular value that x value will become that given point so p equal to x only you substitute all these values in equation one we'll get <clears throat> and if you simplify you will get the polynomial as required cubic polynomial as 2x cube minus 7x square plus 6x plus 1 and it is asked to find f of 4 also. f of 4 is equal to substitute 4 here, we will get 41. Okay, next problem. Using Newton's forward formula, find the value of f of 1.6 from the following data. At which point it is given? 1, 1 1.4, 1.8, 2.2 it is given, and it is asked to find 1.6. But the formula is mentioned Newton's forward formula. We know that the Newton's forward interpolation formula is listed the formula, take it as equation one, list out what is P and what is H. Then calculate these differences using the difference table. X values, Y values, first order differences, second order differences and third order differences. List out the upper diagonal values only required for the forward interpolation formula and substitute in the formula by calculating p. Why it is x substituted at 1.6 means at x equal to 1.6, it is asked to find f of 1.6. That's why x equal to 1.6. Substitute all these values in equation one. And if you simplify, you will get f of 1.6 as 5.4394. Okay, next. Find the interpolating polynomial f of x, which is which is satisfying the values f of 0 equal to 0, f of 2 equal to 4, f of 4 is equal to 56, f of 6 equal to 204, f of 8, f of 10 is given. Means the function value is given at 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. What it is asked to find? Polynomial. Then it is asked to find f of 3, f of 5, and f of 7. Polynomial means generally we'll use forward interpolation formula only. If you list out the given data in a tabular form, x column, y column, and the Newton's backward, we are using Newton's backward. Polynomial means you can use either forward or backward. Once you did with the forward, now here I am doing with backward interpolation formula. Then we will construct the interpolate for backward differences table. X column, y column, del y, del square y, del q y. Please remember when you are using backward interpolation formula, down diagonal values required. When you are using forward interpolation formula, upper diagonal values are required. List out the down diagonal values and calculate P. Here polynomial means X equal to X only. X by two minus five is there. Now equation one implies substitute here. 
see p value x by 2 minus 5 k so it is a little bit difficult to simplify suppose if you take uh, forward interpolation formula x naught will become zero so only x by 2 will come minus 5 it won't come otherwise minus 5 simplification will be a little bit difficult so f of x equal to x cube minus 2x whichever the formula you use you will get the polynomial as same no change in it so then it is asked to find f of 3 f of 5 and f of 7 okay next problem the area capital a of a circle of diameter d is given for the following values calculate the area of a circle of diameter 105 so for what diameters the area is given at 80 85 90 95 100 is given and it is asked to find the area with the diameter 105 105 is nearer to the ending values so we'll use backward interpolation formula assume d is equal to x and a is equal to y y because means we studied the formula in terms of x and y only okay now we are going to use backward interpolation formula so we'll construct backward differences table d equal to x column a equal to y column del y del square y del cube y del power 4 y now backward means only down values are required i am marking here x n y n del y n del square y n del cube y n del power 4 y n okay then list out the values and substitute in the formula you will get y of 1.5 as a triple six so area of a triangle area of a circle with the diameter 105 is 8666 square units so this is the like this you can do all the problems in the next lecture video we will see the interpolation with unequal intervals okay thank you